I yeah. push him off the swing. So you push him off the swing. No, the, the point is when you're pushing someone on a swing, you push them every time you get to the same point. So if my pendulum has a period of three seconds, how often should I push it? Every three seconds. So three seconds, push. Three seconds, push. Three seconds, push. And eventually it falls off. <laughs> Hey, why did the did the, fall off the swing? Did the magnet break? Oh, no, the magnet's right there. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's Elias. That's Elias pushing his little brother. Boom! My turn now. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. It's, it's just a magnet. All right. So when we drive harmonic motion, two for two. Nice job. So when we drive harmonic motion, we give it inputs of energy to change the amplitude, and it's important that we push equal to period. In fact, if you push it at half its period, every other push isn't going to be helpful. Okay? If you push it at half its period, every other push won't be helpful to you. So we push equal to its period. Now the Roman legions knew this, because the Roman legionnaires, they knew their math, and you had these big Roman soldiers wearing gigantic amounts of armor, it's probably, and this huge shield and a spear. And they go boom, 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 boom. Well, the, the officers had swords. But yeah, the... It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so they're going boom, 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 boom. Well, the problem is if you had the entire legion going boom, 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 and you went over a bridge, now realize they didn't have the same engineering that we have. The bridges were primarily wood plates set on the dirt. The problem with going boom, 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 boom is the vibrations from all that walking would go through the bridge into the dirt. And the dirt would go, hey, this is fun. I'm bouncing up and down until what would happen? The bridge would fall into the river because the ground would basically become unsettled. So they realized this, like, that's not a good idea. If I want to sack this town, um, it would be really embarrassing if most of my army ended up in the river first. On the other hand, the reason they did that, the reason they marched, is it was psychological warfare. Because if they were marching, boom, 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 they caused the ground to shake. And if you saw this army coming across, coming to your town, and the ground was shaking, it was probably just a good idea to surrender or give them their tribute so they went on. They wanted to like, oh, this is a big army that could kill us. On the other hand, when you're going across the bridge, it was important the legionnaire said, okay, front row, you're marching like this. Boom, boom, boom. Second row, you're marching like this. Boom, 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 boom. Third row, you're skipping. Do, 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 do. No, just. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just walk normally? Because if they walk normally, they, they would create that same resonance. What if they all yeah. If they, if they all walked normally in that same resonance and they went over the bridge, then the ground would go rumble, 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 and the bridge would fall in. Yeah, well, there's, every third row had to skip. Yeah. The fourth row, they, they like, like, like in Monty Python, silly walks. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so this doesn't just happen with Roman legions. It also happens with bridges. And I have a video for you. Yes. I love videos. I love videos too. Okay, here we go. First of all, um, understand that this happened before there was color video footage, so the video has been colorized. I think that's, someone's going to correct me, but I think that's President Hoover going over the bridge. This is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. <laughs> this is real time. If you've ever been in, uh, in Washington State, you might notice Washington State's really, really windy. Yeah. You've never seen this? And the bridge, the bridge was designed to flex because it went over the Tacoma Narrows where a lot of, wa air, a lot of wind from the, uh, the Puget Sound would blow through. Oh, the bridge is gone. Um, it's been replaced with a really cool looking cable stay bridge. Um, but if you're ever in Tacoma, say hi to my sister and, uh, and then go visit the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge. It's pretty cool. It's really high tech. But this was this is the one they built in the 40s and the 50s. How does the car even go across? How does the pavement stay alive? It's designed that way. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, but eventually it it does reach a, a structural failing point. 
but the bridge was designed to act like a spring to, to swing back and forth. What they didn't realize is sometimes it gets windier than other times. So each pulse of wind would cause the bridge to move, and each pulse of wind would cause the bridge to move. So obviously, nationwide, we don't build bridges like that anymore, right? No. Or worldwide? No. Well, it turns out the Russians, being Russians, they had to have their own bridge. So this is the Volgograd Bridge in, uh, that exists today. That's the alarm that says don't go across the bridge because it's a really, really windy day. <laughs> yeah, this is a bridge in Volgograd, Russia. What? It would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? 